my channel you know it's lojo back with a new video and today i'm going to show y'all how to get this hair color right here this nice little beauty um it was inspired by arnell armand i love watching her so go to her channel if you want to see the original but i did recreate it and i use a little bit of different um dye and stuff so if you want to see how i did that just keep watching remember to like comment subscribe on this video if you like this video follow me on instagram lojo18 and me on snap more at 543 hey guys so i did order this wig from icy hair this is in their princess series this is the cute packaging that they send the wigs in um this is their social media on the back once you open the box there is a little message on the top of the box with more social media from them the wig did not come in the box like this. I already took it out. But um, it's a beautiful, beautiful body wave wig. It has four clips on the inside. One at the bottom, one at the top, and one on each side to hold those sides down. Also, there's an adjustable strap in the back. And the lace is supposed to come natural and pre-plucked. So it's really, it's usually good for me. I do pluck a little bit just to be extra, but... You know, it's up to you. It's already done for you if you like. Um, so, here's the bag that I actually got it in. It's a 16-inch wig, body wave, and it is Indian hair. And it's 250 density. They gave me 3D mink lashes. And elastic band to tie down my hair and lay the lace. And a pamphlet to take care of the hair. So, it has all the instructions and stuff, you know. And there's more social media and a message at the bottom of the box. Very cute, very cute. So to get this color today, I got two bottles of the high color reds in H9. And it's um, the color red hot. So I got two of those. This Express in Crimson dye brush. 40 developer and 50 developer so that's all the things that I needed to achieve this hair color okay so I definitely forgot I was gonna record this I just was so excited to do my hair so I only did one part so far I'm bleaching the knots this is BW2 Clairol um, bleaching powder and I got the 40 developer um, yeah, and I just mix it up on this plate and I applied it. I'm gonna let it be really, really thick. Like, you see how thick that is right there? It's a little dry now, but like, so thick it don't drip. Sorry, bad angles. But um, I let this sit on for like 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna rinse it because 40 developer goes a lot faster. It processes a lot quicker than 30 through 10. So, well, 10 through 30, you know, whatever. And then 50 is salon grade. So you have to have a license for that. So can't buy that, but I would if I could. But yeah, gonna wash these out. Okay, so I'm just here rinsing off my bleach after about 20 25 minutes. Um, I know I did say that <laughs> I did say that 50 developer is salon grade, which is true, but they let me buy it because of the whole epidemic pandemic thing, and they've just like, you know, we're running out of stuff, you can get it. So <laughs> that's a plus. But um, I did use 40 developer to mix the bleach. But it definitely lightened my knots so good. I love Icy Hair because their lace is the bomb, period. Especially the Princess series, okay? I know y'all saw that. I know you saw that lace after I put that bleach on it, girl. So I'm about to dye the hair. I got the dye out the pack and I just cut the big end of it because I'm going to use the whole tube. It's easier to come out that way. It also had a red intensifier inside the box. I was not expecting that. And I'm also going to use 50 developer to mix all of these things together to really get the color that I want. And I'm going to break it down here. In the cup, I've emptied the whole tube of dye. And now I'm about to fill the cup about halfway with the 50 developer. And this is my second box of dye on the hair right now. The first box went to about halfway, so that's where you can see right there. And I'm going to use this for the rest of the way. Um, I was very apprehensive about the red intensifier because I thought that it was going to make it brighter like my jacket or like fire truck red. But you'll see the results soon. Um, 
be careful when using that because it does stain your hands definitely wear gloves and it kind of comes out when you're opening the top so be careful but I was a little generous with the droplets in there then I'm just gonna go ahead and mix everything up with the end of my dye brush and then we're gonna get right into it Please do not be afraid of how the dye looks once you mix it up. Yes, it will look very bright, but once you put it on the dark hair, then it will definitely even out and give you the shade that you want. So just beware. So now that we're dying, I sectioned off a small portion at the bottom of the wig to start. Um, I just took piece by piece of that one row and did my brush in and brushed down each piece. I would comb through the whole row to make sure that, you know, it's fully saturated. It gets every strand and that is really all over the hair. So I just repeat this throughout the whole head and then it gets a little different when we get to the frontal because I want black roots rather than red all the way through so just stay tuned for that part So here I'm about to start dyeing a part of the frontal. Um, you really want to be careful when approaching the frontal because you don't want red dye on your lace and you don't want to mess up your knots or whatever, get red on your knots. And for this particular style, I want black roots again. So you want to be careful not to get the dye on your roots. So I just put a piece like where I would want the red to start, a glob of dye, and then I'll just comb through it, and that comb would allow for a more ombre effect to look like it's going from black to red in a gradient rather than just blunt. So after doing that, you just take very small pieces. I know it's going really fast because I don't want you to sit here for forever, but make sure to take your time around the frontal because that's where everybody's going to be looking, girl. So, take your time. Dyeing your hair is very time consuming and you really want to set out time to do this because you don't want to rush, you really want to take your time, you really want to make sure that it comes out the best that it can be. And I also recommend, like I'm doing, I'm watching Netflix. My friend was also over and she was watching me and talking to me through it. Because I think I was applying the dye to the hair for about an hour. So just that part, along with all the other things I had to do afterwards. So just make sure you, you know, have some TV, listen to some music, you know, have company, whatever you want. Just it's going to take a while. But while you're parting, just tips and tricks, make sure that you get the top and the bottom of each piece because the bottom, if you don't get it, it'll stay black. So you don't want your hair red on the top, black on the bottom because that's not the look that we're going for right now, okay? We want to saturate every single piece. So by doing that, you're ensuring that you're getting the bottom half of the hair and also combing through it will make sure it gets all the strands in between each clump. So when you comb come from the bottom to the top so that you won't get any tangled just very take your time be very patient this is a very patient process but it all works out at the end it's so worth it 
So this is just the hair after I applied the dye. I let it sit for about 45 minutes. Here I'm just rinsing out all the dye in my bathtub. <laughs> I started at the ends. I wasn't really sure if the, the color was taking. That's why I was looking at it. But I can see, well I could see a little tint going on. So um, it's definitely a great dye to dye on black hair. If you don't want to have to bleach your hair all the way, you know, you feel me? So especially if you don't want to bleach from black to blonde because that can cause a lot of damage or if you just don't want to buy a blonde wig because those are more expensive so here is a loophole for you so i just started from the bottom i did wash it on my wig head because i felt like it was a little easier to hold and not get the dye on my lace or anywhere that i wanted to not have dye at so i did have dark roots so that's why i felt the need to be more cautious and careful when rinsing it out so um you can definitely see the tint i know y'all see it we love her but i'm just rinsing it out i'm gonna shampoo it with my regular shampoo not anything special um i think i, I use ogx coconut miracle extra dry whatever i just use that the best shampoo you got girl just use that and then i went on to the next step See you there. Um I know y'all see that lace. I know you see that lace. You just want to make sure the water runs clear, get all that dye out of it because it's going to be really hard to style if you don't get it all out. So you can see a little red still coming out. So just keep rinsing, girl. Next step is the watercolor method. So this is how the hair looks after initial dye. I blow dried it. And it just, when I put it on, it looked black with a tint of red. And I know you can see it better on camera, but it wasn't cut for me. So I was like, okay, we're going to go ahead and watercolor dye it. So I put the Kiss Dye Crimson into a clear tub, very important. And I mixed it with some, that's hot water at the bottom. So you want the clear tub so that you can, when you mix it, you can see the color. And you want hot water because I guess it just helps absorb into the hair more. But I did use the whole bottle of Kiss because I wanted the color to be more vibrant and, you know, just, just popping, you know what I'm saying? So here's the dye all mixed up. I'm about to start dip dyeing. Um, basically, I just dunked it in and out so that it could coat all the strands of hair. Um, be careful of your lace because you do not want red lace. And for me, I wanted black roots, so I was avoiding getting the red on the roots as well. But you just want to hold it in there for 15 minutes. Hey, the hair is dyed. It looks like a very vibrant red, the color that I was going for. Um, subtle, but not, you know, unnoticeable, girl. But here we have, um, I blow dried the hair. I've curled it and styled it already. So now we're just about to go ahead and cut this lace, okay? I know y'all see this color, like, oh my gosh. So I'm using this um, eyebrow razor. I'm going to cut down the middle first. And then I'm going to go on each side. I'm sorry y'all can't see, but I'm trying to look in the mirror right about now <laughs> to make sure I do not mess up my lace. After all this hard work, we're not trying to do that. But you just want to go ahead and cut in zigzags with that um, razor. I personally like the razor better than scissors because it's easier to make it look natural. And I just feel like it just be melting into my skin when I use the razor. So... I'm going to go ahead and speed it up for you because I basically just do this the whole way through. And so that was all the footage of me doing it. But y'all can see how the lace is looking right now. Like it's looking like that's my scalp. <laughs> but now I'm about to go ahead and make me some baby hair. So I'm just clipping back my hair. Um, I did, you know, go ahead and style the curls. Made me a little part, you feel me? But I'm just taking the um edge of my edge comb the comb part and separating a little piece of hair the same eyebrow razor to 
cut the hair short so I can make them, you know, more baby hair like. So that's me doing it up close and personal for y'all. I'm trying to get a good angle. I'm sorry. <laughs> And then I'm going to use the black got to be gel. I'm running out, but I'm just going to go ahead and use that and place it on that edge that I made and slick it on down. And I'm just going to do this in several spots. I don't like many baby hair, but I do at least like two to three. Especially with the side um, part, I don't do that many. And I know y'all like, why is she trying to lay her baby hairs and she didn't even glue her wig down? But I wanted this wig to be glueless. And with me putting the black got to be gel on my edges, that's going to like hold down the sides for me, you know. So that's going to be my little bit of glue to hold the sides of my wig down along with the combs that already make it secure and the elastic band that already makes it fit my head. So that's just how I did this wig. So here I'm pulling down my sideburn to glue, in air quotes, that part down to make sure, you know, it lays flat. So I was going to cut it with the eyebrow razor, but I think I want to keep it long. Um, I just take a little black got to be glue and I'll lay it where I want it to be. And then I apply the glue on top of the lace like I'm laying a baby hair or whatever or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? You see, you see. So I just want to talk a little bit about Icy Hair with you guys. Um, I bought from them, this is my third time I believe. The first time I was a little apprehensive. It took a little while for it to actually get here in the mail. They don't send um, like tracking information so that's why I was also kind of sketchy about it. But once I got the hair I literally fell in love. They have cheap prices and it's quality hair, quality lace. As y'all can see this is some quality lace, okay? and i think the hair is longer than what you expect because it's supposed to be 16 and i promise you girl it's about 20 okay or more so shop with them okay so me applying the got to be on top of my sideburn did not work that well as you could probably see in the last clip but i just decided to do it the regular way so i'm doing the black got to be gel right on my sideburns as you can see right in front of my ear I didn't take it all the way on the side of my head because I didn't need it so um, just put it right there and I'm just gonna take my blow dryer and go ahead and blow dry them on regular heat I know people say cool but I don't think my blow dryer works like that so I just did it regular until I felt to get tacky and then I'm gonna go ahead and stick my sideburns down and then that will be it for the install
So now I'm just going to go ahead and take that elastic band that they gave me to tie down my edges and baby hairs and, you know, tie down the glue or whatever to lay my lace. And when I tell you this elastic band works wonders, I knew it was a reason why everybody was using it. So I'm like, I'm glad they sent it to me so I have the right things, you feel me? So I could slay this wig. So for a little multitasking, I'm going to tweeze my part to make it more defined um i'm just tweezing on both sides with some tweezers that i use for my eyebrows um nothing special I'm, i think i got these from sally's but you can see my part already looks good bro like but i just wanted to make it you know a little more oomph you feel me so we just tweeze a little bit in the front and combed out the excess i did cut off a little bit of my hair i don't think i filmed that part but um after I curled it, I just wanted it to be right above, I mean, like, armpit level in the front or, like, right mid-chest or whatever. So, that was the goal with the hairstyle, and that's why I wanted it so thick. And when I tell you this 250 density is thick, like, girl, a lot of hair. But I'm just using this 35O palette, and I'm just... Using that, this is a fluffy brush right here, eyeshadow brush. I guess blending brush, they would say. But I'm just testing it on my skin to make sure it matches my face. I used the light one and the dark one mixed together, and I just applied it lightly. Then I went in for my angled brush to really get in my part. So I used those two shades again, dusted them off, and just ran it down my part very, very lightly. So I am back and I am dressed. I know I changed about six times during this video, but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this elastic band off, just clip back my hair to get it out the way. But when I tell y'all this elastic band is no joke, like y'all about to see. Y'all are about to see this greatness. Here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Girl, is that not my scalp? Like, is that not my scalp? Since this can be you. I see hair I'm telling you I see hair and then that bleach the knots girl bleach the knots little bit of baby hairs it's yours that's your scalp when I tell you that eyeshadow in the part made it do that thing like she's that girl this wig is beautiful okay now I'm just going back into those two shades again and putting it around my hairline even though it already looks good girl like just to make it look even more seamless, okay? So I'm going right back there to make it blend into my head. When I tell you, where is the lace? Where is it? Where is it? Where is she? Where is she at? Because I can't find her, okay? Like, I'm telling y'all, y'all y'all gonna cut up with this icy hair. Y'all going to cut up. And they're not gonna break your pockets either, like... I'm trying to put y'all on game. See, here you can really see where I cut it, like right above. Hey, okay, quick final reviews. I really love this hair. The body looks great. It still looks nice and shiny. Um, it did not damage the hair at all, seeing that we went from black to red instead of bleach. And please like this video if you liked it. Comment, subscribe, and follow me on Insta and Snap.